Hey guys, uh, so I wanted to cover this topic because um, not a lot of people have really good tutorials, uh, video tutorials. There are There is a lot of information that you can get uh, by text just by Googling, um, but if you're an absolute beginner, sometimes Googling is a little intimidating, um, especially like when you're new to Linux, there's a lot of, um, like using the terminal is really intimidating, so I wanted to make a video. But um, today we're going to be learning how to uh, install the GameCube adapter for Dolphin on Linux. Uh, so first thing, uh, I'm going to link this in the description. Uh, all we're going to be doing is downloading this um, for now. So you want to open your terminal. And uh, one thing that you do need is you need to get Git. If you don't have Git, then you can do this. Um, but thankfully, Git's really simple um, to get. Getting Git is really easy. There's tutorials on that. I don't need to make one. But assuming you do have one, uh, have Git, all you need to do is put Git. I'm on Pop! OS, by the way. Uh, Pop! 22.04. So you just put Git clone, paste this. And it doesn't work. Let's try that again. There we go. It did that the first time I tried to download it. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead. Let's go to another workspace. We're going to open our files, and you should have a .files folder. So uh, all you're going to do, well, what I did was let me go to the official site. This is, um, I'll link this in the description too. So once you get that file, all you need to do is put this, copy and paste this into your terminal, put enter. And then what I did was, um, I already have this installed, but you'll notice that um, I don't have two of these. I should have two. I'm going to move this to the trash because um, I already have it. But um, uh, it should be a hidden file. So I'm going to go ahead and show my hidden files. Um, on Pop! OS, I think Ubuntu also, uh, you just put Control H when you're in your file, in your yeah file navigator, and it'll show you the hidden files that you have here. So you can see, where is it? DLT files, here it is. So uh, I just renamed it. I put a dot in front of dot files um, and then it just worked. So uh, you wanna reopen Dolphin. If you had it open, close it, open it again, and then reinsert the GameCube controller. And um, you go here, controllers, you'll go here, configure. <laughs> Um, you'll notice that it doesn't take you to a separate screen, kind of like the PlayStation controller or any other controller. It doesn't tell you, oh, what inputs do you want to do? It just says enable rumble, uh, simulate DK bongo. So this confused me for the longest time, but you're actually done. It configures it for you. Uh, you don't actually have to do anything. You should be able to let see. Let's just test out a game. There we go. So there, um, game control works. So have fun. Hope this tutorial helped. If you have any questions, don't ask, because I probably won't be able to answer. But <laughs> just kidding. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll be posting a little bit more Linux stuff uh, maybe in the future. Uh, maybe a little tour of my desktop, because I am on Pop! OS, but I'm using KDE. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.